What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Today we are reviewing Curious Brews, I think it's just called Lager, but um, <laughs> I can't really see it. I've had this beer for absolutely ages and it is still in date. Um, so they say on the back here, it's a premium lager of purity and freshness brewed using Cascade and SARS, S-A-A-Z. Never had SARS hops before. And the finest English malted barley. Then for a cleaner, fruitier and more aromatic finish, ooh, re-fermented with champagne yeast and a dosage of rare, are they rare? Uh, it's Nelson Sovin hops. I mean, the last beer we reviewed had Nelson Sovin in it, so I don't know if it's particularly rare, but that's pretty cool. Maybe rare for a lager, sure. Um, notes, they say a <clears throat> crisp and fruity English premium lager with champagne yeast. Um, but yeah, as far as I can tell, unless I'm, it's really obvious and I can't find it, um, I cannot see the actual names, I think it's just Curious Brews Lager because I'm sure Curious Brew is the name of the brewery because I'm sure they also do a cider. If you guys know more about them, let me know. They're based in Tenderden, I think it's what it's called, in, in Kent. Tenderden, yeah. But without further ado, having had this beer for such a long time, I'm going to have to remember to keep the bottle cap because I do that. Let's get it open. A bit worried about... No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, into the beer hot glass. Lovely. Quite proud of that pour. On the nose it's almost like woody. Kind of more savoury notes. Although a tiny bit apple-y, don't know if that's the coincidence with the fact that they also brew a cider. Kind of, it's a bit like oak-aged. Not cheesy, but like oak-aged. Alright, without further ado guys, cheers! <clears throat> that is certainly not what I'd call a lager. <laughs> Let's have a few more sips. It's quite like, yeah, oaky, dank, woody. It's strong and it's bitter. That's um really hitting the back of my tongue. Not your usual flavours. I know it's a lager and I find lagers harder to review because um, their specific flavours just don't come through as much. You can basically say it's biscuity, depending on how much it is, malty maybe. But I can't usually find I can say a lot about it. It must be the SARS or something, or the, the mix with champagne yeast really is um, quite unique. Oh yeah, really not what I was expecting for this one. A lot more bitter than I thought it would be. Yeah, just very, um, very woody, very, um, you don't want to say acrid. A little bit acrid. Um, for its colour and stuff, I wouldn't have expected that sort of flavour. This is like a nice straw coloured, um, you know, light. In fact, it's not even straw, it's yellow really in my hand. It looks like a lager, it just doesn't taste like a lager. Fair play to them for pushing the boat out, definitely. <clears throat> Not fruity though. If it is fruit, it's kind of like off fruit. Have you guys ever opened a clementine or something like that, or like an orange, and sometimes you just pick one segment that's like a lot more bitter and it's like a lot less sweet and it's less enjoyable? Kind of get like aftertaste of that with that, this kind of like oak aged flavour. Don't get me wrong, if I was drinking a cider or even a champagne, um, that would be more welcome. But it's just quite strange in a lager for me, I can't quite get my head around it. So if you guys have had this beer, let me know, let me know what you thought of it. Is it because I've had it ages? Does it normally taste a lot better than this? Um, is this exactly how it's meant to taste and I'm not appreciating it? Um, or am I just picking up the complete wrong flavours, getting confused? Let me know if you've tried this one. I feel like I've seen them in around, I think I've seen them in other places other than sort of the surrounding counties of Kent. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have tried it. 
and um, I'd say definitely get your hands on it to see if you can if you can pick up what I'm what I'm tasting. But yeah, but a bit odd. I think I could I can finish the glass definitely, but um, and I probably would actually want to try it again just to make sure I got the same experience the second time. But yeah, um, I wouldn't say all the flavors are entirely pleasant for me to be drinking. Um, they might be pleasant with a, like a trained um, tongue, somebody who really likes this. I'm sure it can be enjoyable to the right people, but it's too too much away from a lager is going on for me. So, um, and this really isn't like, it's not like, uh, my rating, it's never like putting the, putting the brewers down. I never want it to seem like uh, it wasn't worth them making the beer. I'm never saying that I could brew a beer better than this. But, you know, it's a personal opinion at the end of the day. So I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 5. I can still drink it. it. I can still taste. I know there's some craftsmanship gone into that. And they definitely give, give them props for trying. And like I say, it could just be a bad batch. I don't want to, you know, um, blame them entirely. I like the fact that they're doing something different with lager. But this, this different is just a bit strange for me. So if you guys have tried it, let me know. Um, let me know what you guys are drinking in general. Um, I hope you do hope you guys enjoyed the beer review. Um, yeah, let me know if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you've yet to do so. And like the video if you did enjoy it. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next beer review. Peace.